As I said before, there is more than one way to analyze a circuit, and by analyze we mean find the currents and the voltage drops in the circuit as a whole. Uh, we just went through a very powerful and simplistic way of analyzing an electric circuit, and that is using mesh analysis or loop analysis. However, there is still a basic a way of analyzing a circuit, and that is reducing all the passive elements to single components. In other words, we have one power supply here. It would be nice if we could uh, make the equivalent circuit of all those resistors to one lump circuit and then work backwards from there to find the uh, individual currents in the various branches. And I'm going to do that right now, but the first thing you're going to run into when you're trying to reduce this resistor network is trying to come up with what are par parallel and what are series circuits and trying to reduce them. First thing you run into is that there is no clear uh, duplication or uh, pairs of uh, resistors that we can form a series circuit or a pair that could form a parallel circuit so that we could reduce it. We keep running into a branch flowing out through the middle of it so you might be at a quandary, how can we analyze this circuit? Well, there is one trick that I want to show you here, and it's something that you can use for more than just this one circuit analysis, but it will demonstrate the point. Let's give a quantity to the various resistors here so that we can follow them through the analysis process. We're going to start with a 100 volt power supply, 100 volt uh, voltage source, feeding into resistors uh, RA, RB, RC, and R1 and R2. One of the tricks that we can use is converting what we call a delta arrangement to a Y arrangement or a Y arrangement to a delta arrangement. This will, at times, ease the process of analysis. And we can convert, and there are proofs for this, I'm not going to go through the proof, it's the end result that we're more, more interested in. If we are going to convert um, the circuit, which is in a delta format, but there are three points of contact, A, B, and C, then we can replace that delta arrangement of R, A, C, R, B, C, and R, A, B with the Y arrangement of R, A, R, C, and R, B because if we looked at the circuit from the point of view of the three points, A, B, and C, the resistance would be the same. So how do we do that? But just before proceeding and giving you the formulas, there is another name you might run across with these types of arrangements rather than delta Y. Sometimes a delta circuit is called a pi circuit. The, you can still see that there are common points A, B, and C in the pi network. So they're just arranged in a up and down, left and right version rather than in a, in a delta version. And the Y configuration can be a T configuration, which again is left and right and up and down. Bottom line is we still have three points that we're looking at that circuit, A, B, and C, and we're going to replace one with the other. We just have to come up with a formula for the conversion. And the conversion formula would look like this. To convert from a delta to a Y circuit, the values of R, A, R, B, and R, C are going to be given by, in the case of R, A, it's going to be the delta resistors R, A, B times R, A, C all over the sum of the three resistors. In the case of the R, B, it's going to be R, A, B times R, B, C, all over the sum of the delta resistors. And in the case of the R, C, it's R, A, C times R, B, C, all over the sum of the resistors. 
in the case of converting from a Y to a delta, the RAB of the delta is now going to be given by RA times RB plus RA times RC plus RB times RC all over C. The RBC is going to be given by the same numerator as RAB, this time divided by RA, and RAC, again, is going to have the same numerator, but this time dividing by RB. These are the conversions that you can use for changing the configuration of a Y to a delta, or in the previous instance, a delta to a Y. So let's have a look at how we do this in this practical example. This is the example or the circuit that we have started with, and the internal resistance are in a T formation or a Y formation, R, A, R, B, and R, C. This would more closely resemble a Y configuration, which is a T configuration, but I've labeled the points A, B, and C, and I'm going to replace that Y configuration with its equivalent delta configuration. The Y configuration can be replaced with this delta configuration at points A, B, and C with resistors R, A, C, R, B, C, and R, A, B, we know what those values are because they can be calculated from the Y configuration of resistors. And we can very quickly see that we now have at least two resistors in parallel, R1 and RAC. So we can replace those two resistors with one resistor. That resistor being the parallel equivalent of RAC parallel to R1. Now, in order to further reduce this configuration, I'm going to redraw it so it, it's a little bit easier to recognize the parallel and series circuits. And this circuit can be redrawn to look like this. We now see that we have two further resistors in parallel, R2 and RBC, so they can be replaced by the parallel combination, which is RBC parallel to R2. And very quickly, we can also see that we now have two resistors in series, so we can replace those two resistors with one resistor equivalent to the series connection of the two. And that resistor would be the quantity RAC in parallel with R1 plus RBC in parallel with R2. And very easily we can see that we now have two resistors again in parallel and they can be replaced with one resistor. And that resistor would have a value of RAB in parallel with the quantity and I've placed it in square brackets and colored the square brackets in red, which contain two values, one is RAC in parallel with R1 plus RBC in parallel with R2. And that is the equivalent resistor of all of the resistors that were in the circuit originally, and they will draw the same current from the 100 volt battery power supply that we have. And that current can be calculated just simply using Ohm's law, which is V, the current is going to be V over R, where V is 100 volts, and R is our equivalent resistor that we just calculated 
which is ARAB in parallel with the quantity of two values, RAC in parallel with R1, plus RBC in parallel with R2. Stay tuned to this site, as I'll be diving into more information from my electrical courses. In the meantime, take advantage of the availability of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets by simply filling out the information when you go to this website, https colon forward slash forward slash lowercase bit dot ly forward slash four seven uppercase y uppercase b three lowercase v and lowercase h. You can also directly access my stand store courses at this website https colon forward slash forward slash lowercase stan dot store forward slash uppercase g uppercase v uppercase b